everybody, it's Mike here, and today we're going to be going through my 2014 Honda Odyssey Elite and go through and change all the bulbs to LEDs. Alright, so you can see the headlights are already changed, but I'll show you how to go through that at the end of the video also. We'll go through pretty much all the bulbs. If anybody has questions about bulbs that maybe I missed or something else, feel free to leave something in the comments and I'll go through and help you change out those types of bulbs. Alright, stay tuned for more. Alright everybody, let's start with the inside. So the interior lights. We're going to change these guys here first. So you can tell the one on the right, this is already an LED that I already changed. You can see the difference in color. See how nice and white, bluish white it is. And it's much brighter than this OEM orange incandescent bulb. So that's what we're changing out here. And you can tell that I've already changed them out on the sides. I've changed the right side. But this one I did not. Oops. So that's been changed. That is not. See the difference in the ugly orange versus the nice whitish blue LED. So I'll go through and change all these for you guys. And we'll also be changing this. Alright. So first step first is to turn the lights off. So if you're in the car, just push the remote start and it'll shut off. And what we're going to do here is we're going to stick our screwdriver right between here. You'll see uh, little prongs. See the prongs right in here? There's two prongs right in there. So let's stick that in there and wedge it down. All right, and it's just that easy. And then just pull, pull the other ones. So this is what it looks like. So it's got just four nibs, two on each side. All right, and this bulb will be very hot, probably too hot for me to take out. Yes, it's very hot, so you let it cool down a little bit. I'm just doing that just so the bulbs cool down. The LEDs don't really get hot like the incandescents, but the incandescents get very hot. So sometimes, so what I'd like to do is just grab a uh, terry cloth or whatever you want to call it, microfiber cloth. And then just grab grab the bulb itself. All right, so here is the incandescent bulb. Once you get it out, and I do have to show this because this is a very nice little tray. So these are the LEDs that I'm using. So these are the LEDs that I'm using. It's a SMD LED. Five five lights on each, and look at this nice little case. Of course, you know you're paying a little bit for the case, but that's pretty cool. All right, so let's take it out. So, so let's take one out of here. And let's uh, insert it right, to that, right into that same hole right there. And it's working. So now you can see, see the, uh, I don't know what it is, filament or wires on the end. So if you stick it in the wrong way see it's in there all the way right now and it's not lit up so all you need to do is take it and turn it around and it will light up okay so there you are and then you pop your cover back on it's real easy just those four nibs and there you are pushes back like normal all right now we have the nice white bluish LED. So that is the map light. Now what we're going to do is change the side door lights. So see how icky and yellow this is? I just don't like that. I mean it's very boring, very stock. It's not bright. When you want to use light in the car, like your reading lights, your map lights up there, and other lights in the car, you want it bright. 
you want bright light. That's why you're using it. You don't want dull, bad lighting, you know? So all you're gonna have to do here is stick your screwdriver right in the top here. And you'll see the, see the nibs. There's one nib there and two nibs. I know, I know it sounds scary, but it's okay. So there's your four nibs. This is, you know, it goes in just like this. And you have two nibs on each side. And don't worry, none of them broke, even though it was a scary noise. <laughs> so there's your bulb. And we're gonna change that to a 5SMD LED. So I've, I've tried a lot of bulbs in the past, but these 5SMD LEDs seem to be the best as far as the right brightness, because you don't want to be too bright, because there's always a, a limit on how bright you want it. All right, now that I got the door light out, let's put this new one in. And there it is. Again, same, th same thing as the map light. If you put it in the wrong way, it will not light up. So just turn it around and let there be light. There you are. Nice SMD LED. And just put this cover back in. Maybe a good time to clean it. Looks already clean to be honest. Just pop that in. That easy. See how nice and clean that is now? And I especially love it because I have a white Honda Odyssey. So when I see those white lights matching the rest of the car, I just get excited. We have white in the back. I'm going to have white turn signals soon once I go through that. All right, so now, next thing we're going to do is the back. I don't have any lights on right now on the interior because I turned the uh, the lights off from the front because I don't want to the lights to be too hot so that's this button right here you can push it to hey when the doors are open then the lights will be on in the car so all throughout again the ugly color the pretty color what a difference Kind of upsets me that the dealerships don't do this themselves. Should come like that from the factory. So now for this side light, gonna be pretty simple. You're gonna see a few nibs also. So let's go into the top here and just get that screwdriver in there. And there you are. See the four lights? I'm sorry, see the, f so you see the four nibs here? One, two, three, four. Most things have four nibs in this car, so no worries about that. So let's see how hot this one is. So uh, since I had the car off, had the lights off, this one will come out really easy without burning myself. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna change this out with our lovely 5SMD LED, surprise, surprise. And let's see how it looks. Looks good. There we are. Matches the rest. And then just put this cover back on. Push away. There we go. And there's the rest. So everything now on the interior has changed. Or actually, I am lying because the trunk has not been changed yet. So let's go back there. This always scares me. See how close I get to that roof? Scary. I want to hit that garage door. I've got, I have very little room. It scared me. We just recently bought this about a month ago. And that was one of my concerns. So let's go ahead and change this now. Oh, look at that. I already did, but I'll show you guys how. So this is the after effect. Again, you guys know the 
ugly orange OEM look. So I'm gonna turn this off just so it's not too bright to take out. And you can still see. So I'm gonna get the screwdriver in here. And guess how many nibs there's gonna be, guys? So there's one coming. And let me get that a little, a little better. All right, that's good there. Now let me get in this corner. And there we go, boom, popped out. Let me show you what this guy's, what this looks like. So here's what we're looking like. So we got one nib there, two nib, three nib, very small, you can see it. You can see it's right down here, these little tiny nibs right by my thumb, this right here. So once you get that off, this is what the bulb looks like. It's not a normal bulb. It's these, uh, I forget the number, I think it's a DE3175. I'll post the link below where you guys can get it and, and the bulb information. So this is what it looks like when it's on. So this is the LED I already changed out to match the rest. All right, so this one's real easy. Just pull, pull out and push in. I'll turn it off so you guys can get a better view of what it looks like. All right, and then this will be real easy. Pop this sucker back on, and there you are. There you go. Matches the rest of the car. Next step is we're going to change the blinkers in the back. All right, here's the old icky orange. And here is the new and improved white. So much cleaner, so much brighter. Even though it's not LED, this is just a normal white bulb. Whitish blue, I should say. All right. So let's see how to do it. Turn these lights on so everybody can see a little better. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. So you got two screws here. And this will just be a simple Phillips, so real easy. And I like to keep the blinkers on just so you know, hey, what bulb am I changing? It's easy to see before and after. Whether it's on or off, you know, you can see everything you want. So, it's a very easy tail light to change, um, whether it's the tail light or the rear blinkers. Either one, very easy. Just don't lose the screws. <laughs> Get those two out, then it's time to kind of pull it. So the only thing left is on the side of the car, towards the end of the light, there is a, um, it's kind of, what, what's the best way to describe it? So the best way to describe it is just something that holds this headlight in, just in case you lost both screws. See, I still can't pull it out. I'm yanking on it, but nothing works. So basically we're just gonna keep jerry-rigging it back and forth and back and forth and eventually you keep pulling. And let me show you this little trick over here. So this would be a better angle to see the, uh, so this is where the, the metal pole is that sticks in here and it's holding it in place. So this is really where you wanna concentrate, trying to pull on. And the door jam right here is a great place. It's even got a little, rubber rubber dealy back here and this is a great thing to pull on so i'm gonna pull a little bit here a little bit right here and a little bit right here and just keep wiggling it back and forth and makes and don't worry about dropping that dropping the light itself because it's got wires in there but you know you will maybe scratch your paint so you know whether you want to cover the paint up or anything but you know just don't don't you don't have to you don't have to pull it too hard you'll see what i'm doing here so it's not too hard, just, just be patient 
you know, get different angles at it. And with enough patience, you will get it out. Of course, it's trying to make me look like a liar now. And there you are. So the light in question, I'm going to show you the back side of this real quick. Here is the back side of the light right here. This top one is your brake lights. And the one we want to change is the very bottom one. So this bottom guy right here. All right, so it's gonna turn and pull it out. So turn, and there you are. Let's change this out. Now it's gonna be very hot again, so, because I've got the blinkers running, so grab your cloth. Here's the uh, bulb that I'm using. So this is not an LED bulb. This is just a normal, it's like a whitish blue bulb. And especially with uh, incandescents, also with LEDs, you want to use like a cloth afterwards. It, you know, you don't want to have fingerprints on it and wipe it off. Wipe off all the fingerprints. You know, sometimes I've seen it with bulbs. You, as soon as you touch the bulb and then you turn it on as soon as you turn it on it shatters supposedly due to fingerprints so best thing clean it all off and put it back in and twist twist and lock so you see the uh, two I'll call them poles back here excuse me there's two I don't know if you could see them I'm gonna do my best to do this while uh, videoing kind of hard so I'm putting my fingers on it one here one here and one down here and you can't see my fingers one down here so these two poles that I'm touching right here these are the two poles that are holding it in all right so when you put that together you just want to make sure that you're lined up with that okay and you and you push those in first and you can test it to make sure you're fully in so once you once you put it back in you know you want to push it in first sometimes you can hear that little click like it just did this way see I can't I can't take it out anymore no matter what I do unless I do that pulling procedure again which we all love to do all right so this has a little bluish tint to it it's white but it does have a bluish tint I don't want to you know, be blue, no, you know, you don't want to be blue. First of all, it's illegal, and second of all, it's not a bright light, and it's not meant for turn signals, so nothing wrong with doing white. Looks good, it's nice and clean. All right, and then we put it back together. Can't really be too much easier than this, putting it back together and taking it apart. You know, other cars I've worked on in the past, I've had to use like a, they call it a panel prop, panel popper. It's a tough thing to say, panel popper. <laughs> and um, then you gotta put it in between these and then pull it out. Or use a screwdriver or something in there and then you risk messing up the paint. So, not a good thing to do. But, you know. Got to, got to change those lights out, right? <laughs> it's one of the first things I like to do, other than taking those uh, dealership um, license plates off. I hate that. Free advertising. Please, everybody, make sure you take those. As soon as you buy a car, make sure you take those rings that are on your license plate. That's free advertising for the dealership. I can't stand that when I see that. You know, people are advertising those for free for people. I mean, first of all, they're that happy with the dealership. To be honest, I've never really bought a car at a dealership and then afterwards been fully happy with a dealership that I'd want to advertise, let alone for free. You know, I would never buy from the same dealership. Have you guys had good experience from dealerships? 
I mean, be honest, I've never, and I've bought several cars in the past from dealerships. I like, I prefer to buy on Craigslist, but I buy used cars, so it is what it is. I have no choice sometimes if I can't find what I am, what I'm looking for. And I am definitely a picky person, you know, I'm looking for the exact type of car, the year, the model, the leather, the this, that, everything I'm so picky about. So when I find it, you know, I take care of my cars, take care of everything. All right. Now the next thing we're gonna do is change the bulbs in the back. Alright, so there. So there's your after effect of the nice white lights perfectly matching the Odyssey. Alright, next thing we're gonna do is change these license plate bulbs. So as you can tell, I've already changed them out. It's got that nice white look. But when you get the car, of course it's not gonna be that. So it's gonna be the ugly orange. And in my opinion, this is the first modification I can tell on cars that I see whether or not they care about their cars or whether they've modified their cars at all is that they've changed these lights. So for your license plate bulbs, this is where you're gonna wanna be. They make it real easy again. Love this, love this Odyssey. So you wanna stick your screwdriver, see this little uh, panel right here, this little nib. So basically you're gonna stick it in there and pull. And go along the edge, pull again, and pull again. Boom, there you are. Set that panel down, and you will see that the lights are not on right now. And if you want them on, you'll have to turn the headlights on. So I guess we'll do that real quick. All right, so headlights are on now, and these bulbs should be on. Yep, you can see them. Makes it real easy to figure out which ones you're going to take out. All right, so very easy to see. So there's little nibs on each side of this. So one nib here and one nib on the other side. All you do is you squeeze this together, squeeze them together this way. Squeeze and pull. And surprise, surprise, 5 SMD LED. Beautiful. So that's how you change these out. And there they are. Now the back end is a thing of beauty again. Next step, we are gonna change the lights in the front. So let's pop the hood and go at it. Usually I change the orange lights. You see these orange lights right there? So usually I change those to blue or the white LEDs. Or I'm sorry, not LEDs. Usually I change those to white or the bluish, you know, just like I did the back. So no matter what I change this bulb to, whether it's blue or white or whatever color I want, it's still not gonna show that great, only because you've got this ugly orange piece here that's built into the headlight. So you really, I'm gonna say just for the sake of this, there's no easy way to take that out. Um, so I may or may not change it, but I will show you guys how to change it and get to the back of this headlight, just in case you guys you know, need to replace it. All right, so if I change this to blue, let's say, a, let's say white. So if I change this to white, this will all, it'll blink kind of orange and it'll, it'll blink white here. So that'll kind of look stupid in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong, but you know, I'm not gonna do that. You know, I've done it in all my other cars, but they didn't have this orange piece. Okay, so let's lift the hood. So the only way of really taking this orange piece out and feel free, I mean, if you guys are really adventurous and experimental, see how this is all together and you can see See all these nibs? 
So you see a nib here, you see a nib here, and you got some, you got a screw back here. You know, there's a there's a bunch of screws back here, but basically what you need to do, because you can't actually pry this up or anything because it's got, I don't know what this is, it's, you know, from the from the factory. It's good because it keeps a good seal between these. It's not just the nibs keeping this together. There's also basically glue. I'm gonna call it glue. I know it's not glue, but you know, it's some kind of adhesive that the dealerships use to keep these together. And one thing I've done before when I had a Hyundai Tiburon, that actually had the same headlight housing as this. So what's recommended to do is to, if you want to take this out, because it had the same type of orange piece, and when you take this out, it's all chrome underneath and it looks just awesome. And then you could change the corner light also to a white or a blue. So it would look great all chrome, wouldn't it? So what you need to do, you would basically take this and put it in the oven, the whole headlight, you take it all out, this whole piece, you take it all out and you put it in the oven on top of uh, aluminum foil. And don't quote me on the numbers, definitely do not quote me on these numbers. Research it for yourself, but if you wanna do it, research putting your headlight in the oven to split apart the front and the back of the housing. So I wanna say it's roughly, you roughly put it in the oven for 300 degrees for 30 minutes, I wanna say. But again, don't quote me on that, research it yourself, but it's something along those lines. And then what that does is that it, it gives it just enough heat so that it you basically have literally about 30 seconds to a minute to take it out of the oven. It won't be, the whole headlight won't be hot, only like pieces of metal will be hot. And the rest of this will basically, you can, you can lift this up and then basically pull these apart so I would recommend one person holding this side one person holding this side and you basically pry it apart you know so get some screwdrivers or whatever and first first step would be to get these nibs lift them up but be very careful because this is all going to be very loose we'll say this is really hard metal right now but once you throw it in the oven this will all be I mean literally I can rip this so if I push this up too hard it'll rip it or do it with a screwdriver and especially see how you know between here and here this nib that's very small uh, rubber, so you don't want to rip it. And I will caution you that if you want to do this, be very, very careful. Use extra, when you seal it back together, I think, uh, I, think I used silicone, if I can remember, 10 years ago when I did this on my, my Hyundai. Uh, you basically use silicone and put it back together. That's how you, you know, melt it back in. Then you put it back in the oven, you put silicone in, and then you push all the nibs down then it makes the plastic hard again after it's after it's melted or not melted for say but we'll say loosened up not fully melted and then that's how you would take this off and you put silicone in the, the word of caution I will say is that sometimes I've done this in the past and it basically fogged up the inside here because if you don't have that perfect seal like it's on the OEM if you don't have that perfect seal and you don't do a good job, you'll have foggy headlights because uh, humidity and dampness gets inside of here from rain and other stuff. So it'll all look fogged up. And then you're gonna have to take it apart, do the process all over, clean the inside. So horrible process. That's the only process that will work as far as taking this out and making it all chrome underneath. Nice, nice and pretty, match the whole chrome front. So to each his own. If anybody tries this, let me know your experiences. But don't blame me. I'm not recommending it. I'm just letting you know. Just This is just a pure how-to. All right? <laughs> so here is your corner turn signal. It's going to be right, right here. See this uh, bulb right here? See this cord? The very, it's the very far left. What you're going to do is you're going to turn it to the left. And there you are. That's it. And so now you can see it's no longer in there. So you can change it out to whatever you want. Change the white, change the blue. Let me know how it looks. All right. Very easy to change pretty much most of the lights in this car, except for removing this orange. <laughs> so I may play around with changing, changing this orange. You know, this guy, I'm not going to mess around with this whole outside piece. I've done that before. Don't think I'll do it again, to be honest. 
but this orange piece in the middle, that orange bulb, I may or may not change it out. I have to decide how it looks. Maybe I'll play around with it. I hate to return bulbs. You know, bulbs. I don't like. To, I just don't like to return it because I don't like to buy a set of bulbs from, let's just say, AutoZone or whatever. And it's already taped up. You know, to me, it's like, okay, maybe there's something wrong with the bulbs. They didn't work too good. So I hate to do that to other people. So don't want to do that. All right. And now, in order to change the headlights, so this is your turn signals. This is your headlights. And these in here are actually your brights. So those will probably rarely need to be changed. So these are your headlights. Let's change this. So see this big uh, this big piece right here? This big circle. So it's right behind right behind this piece. You'll see this cover on the back. You'll see all you can really see is this when you're looking down. You'll see the back of this cover. So you really it's really hard to get back in here. You reach like this and then just you'll have enough room to turn to turn a little bit just because of the fact that it's got these grooves on it so they know how hard it is to take it off. So all you're gonna do is take this off and then your bulb will be right back here. And all you gotta do is pull. It's pretty hard to get to, but it's really the I wanna say the only way, the best probably the best way. And you could probably get to it through your wheel well, but this is probably the best way to do it. So you don't have to take anything apart. You don't have to take the headlight out or anything. You don't have to take any of this off. So it's pretty easy. You know, just a matter of having small hands and having patience and getting in there. All right. So once you do that, put this guy back on and you are good to go. Okay, apparently there is one more light on the inside that I forgot about. And I've never done any other car, but I might have to do it here. See in the glove box, we have an orange light. Ew. So now let's change it out. So when you when you reach, you have to reach up right on the back side of this. All you do is you reach in, turn, and pull it out. This is what it looks like. Unfortunately, I do not have the bulb on me right now. I'm gonna have to go to the store and go pick this up. So for right now, I'm just gonna take it out. So I don't wanna see any yellow light in my car. All right, so simple change right there. No tools needed. And once you change that, put it back in, on to the next step. And again, I don't have this bulb with me right now, but I will post a link down below in the description. So make sure you guys check those out, what the bulb information is for every bulb in the car pretty much that I'm changing out in this video. And you guys are on YouTube are so quick and with it. I don't have to tell you guys this, but I'm sure you guys have noticed my garage. Look at these bulbs. So this, I have yet to change. That's a normal 200 watt bulb. Brightest I could find. But this guy right here, look at that. That thing's a beast. 300 watt LED. Rare find. It's not even the shape of a bulb. I'm gonna get as close as I can. Definitely recommend picking up one of these. It is not cheap though. I think it was like maybe 40 bucks or something like that. You know, if you can find it on sale somewhere or something, or if you really want a bright light, this is it. This will light up pretty much the entire garage and it's LED. So, gotta love that, right? <laughs> Brightest thing you can possibly get, I think. It's a 300 watt LED and it fits into a normal bulb outlet. So, gotta love that. So, last thing I'd like to mention is not about lights, really. Just about overall car. So, once I buy a car, I have a to-do list, we'll say, that I always like to do to make the car, we'll say, mine. A little differentiating. Uh, first thing I like to do is, of course, take off the license plate frame that's from the dealership as i mentioned earlier please make sure you take that off i can't stand when i see that on cars 
and then I like to change out the headlights. Fortunately for, for me, these are already Xenons. These come Xenon because we have the Elite model of the Odyssey. So don't have to do that, but I have done that in the past where you change the headlights to HIDs, so you get rid of that orange, yellow orange look, and you turn it to a white, you know, 4K, 5K LED. Or I'm sorry, not LED, HID. So I have videos on that. It's pretty much the same process for every vehicle. So you can check out my other videos. I've got two videos on that. I got one where I did on my Honda Accord, which will be very similar to this, and also my Nissan Maxima. So changed out those. And then the next thing I like to do is tint the windows. Obviously, you already have a nice dark tint on here. I usually like to change out the rims, even though this is a van. I have not changed out the van rims yet. We just got it. I'm debating what will look good on the van. Can't have it too sporty, otherwise that'll look foolish. <laughs> but definitely love to do that. Uh, change out the LED lights all the way through. Change out the corner turn signals, all the turn signals to white, which I've shown on this video already. And next thing I like to do is change out your uh, air filter. So I like to do this because of the fact for a few reasons. So when you change this out, so this is already going to be like a papery one. I'm sure you've all seen air filters and actually I'll we'll show you real quick how to take this out. So you just undo this. Undo this snap right here, and this one in the back, and then this should pop up. And if you really want to, I mean, I'm not going to do it here, but then you just uh, undo this, which is a Phillips screw right here. So you undo this metal, that'll make this a lot looser. The reason why I changed it out is a few reasons. So one is because of the fact that it gives you better miles per gallon. You know, sure it's minimal, but hey, everything helps, especially when you're driving a minivan, right? I mean, we get, what, 20 miles per gallon, 21 on average, I'm saying. So nothing great, so every little bit helps. So if you're not doing it for that, it's also, if you get the k model, it's also supposedly proven to do better horsepower. So sure, you don't care about that again if you're driving a minivan, right? Sure, every little bit helps, though. It might get you out of a tough situation you know and everybody you know when you need to accelerate it's good to have a little bit more even if it's only a horsepower or two all right and then even if you don't want to even if you don't care about either of those ideas then do it for this reason so the stock ones are basically made of i know it's not paper but it's paper like material and you have to change it out every you know every i think it's like ten thousand miles or something like that and whenever you go to like a lube place or a dealership they always tell you when you know when you're changing your oil they always check those things they check your oil they check all your fluids and they love to check the air filter and they're going to charge you i don't know what is it i haven't done it in years because i always change it myself with this but you know the charge let's just let's just say 10 20 bucks for those so and they're going to replace it with you know kind of like a stock one and it's going to be the same material problem with that is if you change it to this k n air filter this is actually a better air filter. Again, we've talked about the pros of it, that it's better horsepower, better miles per gallon. Sure, it's minimal. But th the best thing about it, according to some people, is the fact that because it's not made of paper, you can actually clean it. So you never have to buy another air filter pretty much for the life of the car. So, and it just slips right in. I mean, it's literally swap in, swap out. I mean, this, this little piece just lift out. There it is. And the other piece just slides right in. It's the exact OEM fit and everything. And it's just made of a diff little different material. So it's more, it's easy to clean. And they actually sell a cleaner too. I'll post a link to that below so you guys can check that out. So I definitely recommend buying that. Then you'll never, ever, ever get hassled about, oh, your air filter's too dirty. You should clean it out, change it. So this way you could change it yourself as needed. They will never mention anything to you ever again when you change your oil. <laughs> All right, so if you guys have any other questions, anything else you want to see that maybe I missed on the Honda Odyssey or any of the vehicles that you've seen of my past, let me know. Shoot, shoot something in the comments. All right, thanks for watching.